hi guys welcome back to the multimedia channel i hope that your week is up to a good start um all right so um i'm making this very quick video you know as my way of reacting to you know the treatment that is being meted against players of the super egos you know upon their arrival in libya you know ahead of their that very crucial encounter in the afcon um, qualifier um matches um tomorrow um so you know there have been reports online and then of course we've had the players also made make posts on social media particularly twitter that uh they have been left stranded or that they were left stranded you know for over 15 hours uh without food without water without internet you know to be able to speak to their families upon arrival at um the international airport in the country um it doesn't really make sense because i remember very well that um you know libya you know the players were in nigeria a few days ago um in aqua Ibom, and then they played match um against nigeria they were not given this kind of treatment you know um the, that match actually ended you know um one zero in favor of nigeria um so they were supposed to play post um, nigeria you know tomorrow you know as part uh, that's basically like going back for the return leg of um, the qualifier match and then this is what is happening you know the players have arrived you know to prepare ahead of their match and then they are being held up um at the airport so i want to believe uh, or i believe strongly that this treatment is intended to you know sort of demoralize these players and then you know discourage them even from playing the match so that when they get on the field uh, they wouldn't really play with their spirit and it doesn't make sense it doesn't really make sense it goes a long way to show that um we are way behind in terms of football on the african continent um it would really discourage these players you know most of whom you know risk their life just to come back home and represent their country and it doesn't speak well of um football in africa um you know many people have been pointing accusing fingers or rather saying that um you know um, calf didn't hit some of the advice that the nff actually gave them you know in terms of how to treat these players if that's the case then um i mean i would say it doesn't really make sense and you know latest reports suggest that uh, the super eagles has actually uh, you know pulled out of that um encounter against um libya tomorrow because of course what's the need of playing when you have completely demoralized these players and you know sort of discouraged them from even playing the match I um, in the first place there are also you know people saying that um libya might be giving three points i don't think that would be the case because um it would totally be unfair because it's completely unfair to treat players who have come into your country you know to play against you this way it doesn't really make sense these are players who are applying their trade across europe you know coming back to represent their country and then they have been treated this way is completely unfair and must be on you know must be um condemned um, by everyone yeah so this is my way of you know reacting and saying that um um uh, a very serious action should be taken against uh the, the, the football federation in libya you know for actually allowing this happen because it doesn't make sense completely it doesn't make sense and it has to be unacceptable if football must grow you know on the african continent we need to grow beyond this kind of treatment um we all are africans and we shouldn't be treating ourselves this way um because like i said earlier they were never treated this way when they came into nigeria you know a few days ago to play um against nigeria so i'm wondering if it, if it was because they lost in nigeria that they are you know treating these players this way so that they can win um in their own country it doesn't make sense it doesn't really make sense um uh, you know we had boniface make a post and said that for 15 hours they were left stranded at the international stadium um the uh at the international airport rather they couldn't co you know connect their families they couldn't speak to their families um there was no wi-fi there was no food there was no water and it, it doesn't really make sense to be fair it doesn't make sense and it has to be condemned by everyone um so just share your thoughts on the comment section what do you think um this treatment is intended to achieve and do you feel it will go a long way you know in discouraging these players from coming back home to represent um their country and what kind of treatment or uh, punishment do you think um, should be meted out you know to serve as deterrent to other countries or to other football federations who uh by be intending to you know treat players this way so just um you know drop your comment um on the comment section thank you very much for watching bye for now